so excited. I have a limitation on my coffee. <laughs> I have a limitation on my coffee. I asked someone, could you get me a half a cup of coffee? I want to cut back on my coffee. Okay, you believe that? Yeah. Could, could you get me a half a cup of coffee? And you know, you have to be careful what you ask for. That's what my coffee cup says. It says, uh, you ask for a half a cup of coffee. <laughs> and that's what they got. I'm like, you know, you got jokes. You got real jokes. You know, half a cup of coffee, half, half a cup of coffee. Okay. But it took me to really, really thinking about, but you know, I'll flip it in a minute. How many times we'll go to God in prayer um, and say, God, I'm asking for this. And God, I'm asking for this. God, I'm asking for a car. I'm asking for a house. I'm asking for a spouse, a significant other. And God will give you exactly what you asked for. Why? Because you asked. But the question I have is, were you specific enough? Because now some of y'all want to give up the house, trade in the car, <laughs> give up the significant other. Can't do it. Can't do that. Because of what you ask for. Got to be careful of what you ask God for because you just might get it. So what I challenge us to do is when we go to God in prayer, that we be very specific in our asking. I mean, God hears everything. Why not be specific in your asking? If you want a career shift, don't just say, God bless me with a new job because this one is just getting on my nerves. <laughs> you know we say that, right? Well, God, I need a career shift because I, I need to do something different. What does that mean? Tell you what you do. If you know you need a career shift, you know you need a life-altering shift, you need to start writing stuff down of what you want, not what you wish for, because when you wish it, it, it goes and it, it goes vapor. But when you write it down, it just does something. You know, God's word says, write the vision, make it plain. I mean, I ain't preaching nothing. That's just what the word says. But when you start writing it down, it makes it tangible. It makes it obtainable. So if you're looking for a career shift, write it down. Research it first. Research the job title. Research the job description. And then start working on those skills to build that because God ain't gonna hide and you ain't gonna be, you ain't gonna embarrass God now. He ain't gonna put you in no place and you don't know the word. You you ain't gonna make him look bad. Oh no. <laughs> so what do you do? Write down, research your job description, you know, the title. God, this is the, the title I want. This is a description I want. This is the salary I want. This is the schedule I want. I want to work Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from home go in the office on Tuesday and Thursday. I want to work nine to six or nine to five. I mean, I want a second shift job. I mean, you really have to be specific because if God is who he said he is, he owns it all. So if you know him and he, you are a child of God, why not ask? I mean, when we were young, we asked our mom and daddy for everything. <laughs> They were broke and they were like, go sit down somewhere. But when you talk to God, ask him. See what he says. It's not going to hurt anything. But now don't go to God all cocky like you own something. We don't own anything. But your posture, your tone will really make a difference. So what is the IDB for today? Specifically, ask. Specifically. And just see what happens. I mean, what you got to lose? Just don't go cocky. Go humble. Don't go cocky. But go confident. And knowing that God is who he says he is. Because you have done your part. You've done your research. You've written it down. You've built up your skills to do it. Just ask. But be specific. Or you're going to wind up with a half a cup of coffee. <laughs> a half a prayer. Come on. All right. I got to go. So I give me a whole cup of coffee. Okay. Y'all have a blessed, blessed week. Love you. Mean it. Bye.